Hello everyone. In this video, we will see about slip sensors. So slip sensors are devices designed to detect and measure slipping or skidding movements. They are commonly used in various applications such as uh, robotics to help determine if a surface is too slippery for a robot to maintain its grip or traction. These sensors provide information about the movement of objects on surfaces and help uh, prevent accidents or improve performance in situations where uh, slipperiness uh, can be a problem. Okay. So next, uh, why do we uh, need a slip sensor? So we use a slip sensors to check if something is slipping out of a robotic hand or a gripper. They tell us uh, when the uh, grip is not strong enough to hold on to an object or if the object starts to slide. So these sensors uh, uh, work by sensing the movement of the object when it slips and then increasing the gripping force to prevent it from uh, falling. From falling, uh, it's way to help the robot hold uh, things securely. And next you have uh, different techniques. So first the slip sensing is by means of a lift and uh, try technique. Uh, so when using a gripper, it's first positioned correctly over a specific part. And initially it applies the least amount of force. We measure the current uh, used by the motors controlling the gripper's movement. This process is repeated and if needed, the force is increased gradually. Okay. So, however, during the actual operation, we don't uh, get real-time feedback. So, the gripper can't tell if a part is delicate or heavy. There is also a no guarantee that an object won't slip while being uh, held by the gripper. So next, there are three ways to detect when an uh, object moves in a gripper. That is, first one is by pressing a needle against the object, causing it to vibrate when the obje uh, object shifts. And second one is transforming the object's movement into a different kind of motion using a roller or a spear. And the third is noticing changes in how the fingers of the gripper apply pressure to the object, which can be measured by pressure sensors. The next uh, slip sensing uh, forced oscillation type. This is the first type. So here you imagine a sapphire needle attached to the front of the device that is sensitive to touch like a phonograph needle on a record player. You could see here the sapphire needle. This setup can feel any roughness on the surface of an object it is holding. So when the object starts to slide, the needle moves causing a mechanical change in a, a special crystal called a Rothschild salt. Okay, you could see here. This change results in a sudden increase in voltage which acts like an alert signal. Okay, So when this voltage goes beyond a certain point, it triggers a mechanism to increase the gripping force, stopping the object from slipping. It's way for the device to secure the object it's holding. And also, uh, the system is uh, straightforward and doesn't cost much. Okay, so it is uh, simple. And instead of uh, delicate uh, sapphire needle, we use a durable steel ball. You could see in the second picture. So plus we have added an uh, oil damper to reduce noise and make it even stronger. Okay, so this is advantage of uh, using this. This is a forced oscillation type slip sensor and second one is the input or displacement type so the, it works by uh, turning slipping movements into a twisting motion using a roller or a spear you could see here roller or a spear so this roller is wrapped in a, a stretchy material with a good grip so we use either magnetic or optical sensors to figure out when it uh, slips so this setup can uh, catch multiple slips and can reset its position but may not be very precise in detecting small uh, movements. And then the third type is uh, pressure measurement type. So here this system imitates the way human hands sense pressure using sensors. 
okay when an object slips a needle is pressed which changes the pressure and generates an electrical signal this signal then prompts an uh, increase in the gripping force to secure the object it's a bit like uh, how the uh, density of uh, sensors in a human hand helps us uh, feel different uh, pressures okay so these are about the uh, three slip sensor types and the belgrade hand this is the you can see in the picture this is a belgrade hand okay so in 1963 a serbian scientist named rajko tomovic at the serbian academy of sciences and arts in belgrade created a special prosthetic hand you could see here in the picture so this hand is unique because it's not just for looks okay it's powered by an external source and can do many things so it has five separate fingers uh, that can move independently allowing someone to hold and grip objects firmly okay here uh, this system is based on forced uh, oscillation involving a vibrating needle and a roller you could see here in the picture it has a roller and a needle so the needle moves when the roller turns creating an output signal that changes in frequency however making this setup smaller is quite uh, challenging so it is also important that the force causing a slippage should act in the same plane as the roller for it to work effectively okay next uh, again this uh, system operates based on forced oscillation type so where a tiny needle moves because of the roughness of the objects it's holding okay it's simple to make it smaller and uh, works well even with the gentle pressure however the needle won't move if there is a strong sideways force acting on it and imagine here in this uh, little ball that's partly conductive uh, that is like metal and has non conductive sections okay sort of like a chess board you could see here the sphere like a chess board so we touch two different spots on this ball and it can tell us how it moves in any direction between 0 to 360 degrees by giving us uh, pulses with varying frequencies Yeah, this system is really easy to make uh, smaller, and it's great at noticing when something starts to slip in any direction. It's not easily uh, disturbed by outside movements or noise, and it won't start moving on its own due to vibrations or shocks. Okay, in fact, the smaller the ball and the less space it has to move around, the better it works. Okay, so this is about the Belgrade hand. and uh, slip sensors and its types thank you